What's up, nerds? Man. Uh, thank you so much for being here, uh, and thank you to Kishore and everyone uh, for having me out. This was kind of a last minute thing for me, um, but I'm super excited. How is everyone feeling? We all good? Ready to get nerdy? Ready to get weird? Yeah, we're gonna get a little... Actually, because it's Halloween, I want to try something uh, a, little, a little weird with you guys first, and I guarantee none of you have ever heard this before. Um, what do you think 1,400 people cracking their knuckles at the same time sounds like? Right? Okay, so I'm going to do three, two, one, and then your head, in your head, it's going to be crack. So three, two, one, and we're going to do this, okay? You with me still? Not completely crazy? Okay, so, let's do this. So this is what, this is what 1,400 people cracking their knuckles at once sounds like. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh, I immediately regret doing that. Wow. Uh, that, that, that is, that is terrible. I didn't, I, I apologize, <laughs> apologize, I didn't know it was going to sound like that. Um, so yeah, 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 I, I'm Kyle Hill, I'm the science editor at Nerdist.com, and because, uh, Adam Savage isn't here tonight, right? So I'm the guy looking for the next Mythbusters. Don't, don't tell him, it, it's fine, we're cool. Um, so, uh, let's get started. Um, my presentation is called Uncovering the Fifth State of matter. And before we begin, I'd like to just outline a few things. <laughs> I stole that joke from Reggie Watts. Um, th this presentation is admittedly a little bit more surface level than many of the talks that you will hear this evening, but uh, I did lose my key card to the university and I forgot everything, uh, so I couldn't do as much as I wanted to, but my goal is to prime your brains for truly revolutionary hypotheses tonight. So today, I wanna to talk about something that should, it should revolutionize our understanding of the universe, provided that my theory is correct. And I will not apologize uh, for the background of my slide because I love cats. Um, before we go forward, I am legally required to tell you by, uh, from the FAA, don't mean to bring things down, that if you have a Galaxy Note 7, um, leave. <laughs> you are a walking bonfire. We can't have that in here. <laughs> yes. So, a new, st let me, let me sound more Ted Talky. <laughs> what if I told you? <laughs> Here's the thing. What if, what if I told you that you have been lied to? There are not four fundamental states of matter. No, no. What me and my colleagues at the Brookings Institution have found is that there is indeed a fifth state of matter. Imagine that. There is indeed a fifth state of matter that, oddly enough, has all of the properties of all the other fundamental states of matter, um, simultaneously even. Um, but before I make my, my total case for that, maybe you could all use a refresher on what the four fundamental states are. I know you're a smart crowd, but we're going to do this anyway. So get out your notebooks, silence your hand computers, because here we go. So uh, generally speaking, solids are matter. It's made out of atoms and molecules with a fixed shape and a fixed volume at a macro level. And uh, since I already have a cat theme going on, for example, this. Uh, this cat retains a fixed volume and a fixed shape such that you could high-five it. And uh, gen generally, solids don't pass through each other, which allows this cat to be so gentlemanly on this, uh, in this lovely picture. Uh, you can't put your hand through a cat. Asterisk. But they're, cat, cats are solids. <laughs> How about liquids? Uh, liquids, on the other hand, have a fixed volume, but not a fixed shape. Um, they spread out to fill any, uh, any amount of volume that they're in, dependent on their own volume, and because, you know, what the heck, we're still doing cats. Um, here's a cat. 
attempting to fill the volume that it is in. Um, here's another one. More or less a fluid. Here are two more cats acting like a fluid. Uh, it's what scientists call, if I fits, I sits. Vincent et al, 2015. Um, uh, gases, moving on, generally speaking, it's, a, it's matter with a variable shape and volume. Uh, yes, you know where I'm going with this. Here are some cats spreading out to fill a volume as though they had no real shape. What shape is that? I don't know. <laughs> Cats are a better example uh, for visual aids than I, than I thought they would be tonight. That's good. Uh, and finally, uh, we move to the fourth fundamental state of matter, which is plasma. Um, over 99% of the visible matter in our universe is in the plasma state. And much like uh, gases, they have a variable shape and a variable volume, but plasma is so hot that electrons and ions get ripped off the atoms and molecules and they float around making it um, semi-conductive and compelled to return to its ground state if excited. Yeah, you, you, know, you know where I'm going with this. Um, you, know else, you know what else is compelled to return to its ground state? Wait for it. Cats. <laughs> cats in these examples. Um, plasma acts like cats do, always able to return to their ground states. I'm not going to be don't worry, it's not going to be all, all just like this. So, <laughs> what I am uh, hypothesizing is that the fifth state of matter, the fifth fundamental state of matter, uh, is something that has the four previous states of matter, their properties simultaneously expressed. Um, where's my evidence for this? Well, uh, cats act like solids, liquids, and gases and plasma, which probably means the fifth state of matter is cats. Not only can all matter be described by cats, but the unique ability to describe our universe means that the fifth state of matter is cats. Let that sink in for a moment. So, uh, just, just think about it. I'm going to offer you a little bit more evidence on this. Uh, cats can be solid while acting like a liquid. Or vice versa. Uh, cats can be solid while attempting to return to their ground states, like a plasma. Oh, we are monsters. And uh, cats can attempt to fill a volume while returning to the ground state, like a plasma. Look at it just filling that. Oh, yes. <laughs> so um, this fifth state of matter, which I am calling Catter, <laughs> trademark, um, gets even more interesting. Uh, cats can be solid while obviously being some kind of gaseous cloud. <laughs> Which means that cats are sublime and they can sublimate. <laughs> oh man, so glad I'm here tonight. It also appears that cats can reverse the process and melt. <laughs> One more time for good measure. Uh, cats can even uh, appear to flow like a liquid while retaining a high toughness of their skin. As you can see here, cat flowing out of this basket. Um, and they still retain a high toughness as though they were a solid, as reported in Vincent et al. 1991. And I don't, I, I, I don't want to get too bogged down in numbers here, so I won't. <laughs> um, what's even more fascinating to me uh, about Catter, trademark, is that it has quantum properties at the macro scale. So here we have a charged cat levitating above some grass with <laughs> Obvious magnetic flux. That's the, that's the most likely explanation here. And here we actually see... Let me, let me TED talk it again. And here... We actually see the Pauli exclusion principle in action at the macro scale. Simply amazing. The only explanation... <laughs> yeah. The only explanation for these properties is a new state of matter. 
So, uh, before I said that Catter has the properties of all, all matter, and I meant that. Dark matter. Dark matter has a name, but we have no idea what the stuff is. We believe it makes up 27% of the mass and the energy in the universe, which means a third of our universe is... Meh. We don't know. What we do know, however, is that dark matter doesn't interact with regular matter. Some of you are getting ahead of me. And we know it has gravitational influence on masses around it. Uh, here's what I'm proposing. Uh, because Catter has the properties of all matter, we should expect to see, if this hypothesis is true, that it has the properties of matter that we don't even understand yet. Um, you know what else refuses to interact? <laughs> Look familiar? No, no boobs. I must not interact with you. <laughs> so, I think that I've made my point here, uh, but let me leave you with one last piece of evidence uh, that Catter is indeed the fifth state of matter, which has the properties of all matter, even dark matter, simultaneously. On February 9th, 2015, NASA released, stop getting ahead of me, NASA released this image. This is the so-called smiley face captured by the Hubble Space Telescope and went viral. Um, the two Two galaxies you see here as the eyes are SDSS CGB 8842.3 and 8842.4. Uh, the shape, the head and the mouth are actually called here, head and the mouth are actually caused by uh, gravitational lensing, where light is bent around the gravity of matter, which means, yes, even dark matter. Uh, so if you can't see the face, let me <laughs> outline that a bit more. But Oh, wait a minute. If Catter has the properties of dark matter as well, is it possible that if we expand our minds and see a little bit more in this photo, <laughs> I think I rest my case. Thank you. Kyle Hill, everyone.